question, uh, and I expect an answer. What have you done? Yeah. Mother, is that you? Diana! My stars in heaven, what are you doing behind the settee? Diana wasn't feeling very good. I'm feeling just fine now. All these heads were resting. Oh, oh. oh, she's drunk. Speak of that now, do we? I also understand that the cup 
Hertz, meaning well, have apparently tried to humor such behavior. But let me assure you, I will not countenance such actions. Nonsense of any kind will not be tolerated in my schoolhouse. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Very good. Now, on what subject would we like to begin the new year? Could we begin with ancient history, Mr. Phillips? <gasps> ancient history? My favorite subject. What a splendid suggestion, Chris. <laughs> I mean, Miss Ed. <laughs> Can you tell the class who led an assault on Rome during the Second Punic War? Crossing the Alps with elephants. The Second Punic War. Crossing the Alps. The Alps. With elephants. Oh, Julius Caesar. No, Caesar divided Gaul into three parts. Without elephants. <laughs> Who knows the correct answer? Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Shirley. While we're on the subject of Roman emperors, who can tell me who fiddled while Rome burned? Miss Andrews. That's so easy. The Emperor Nero. Very good, Miss Andrews. Uh, actually, he didn't fiddle, you know. He must have played some sort of harp. A harp? Yes. You see, the fiddle, or violin rather, wasn't invented until the 16th century. Yes. Well, I think the reference Miss Andrews made to the fiddle was only a figure of speech. Was it? Oh, I just love figures of speech. My favorite is a pig in a poke. Is it? <laughs> yes, but I'm also rather fond yes, of saying Yes, well, those are colloquialisms, Miss Shirley, and they are very seldom found in fine literature. Well, isn't that a shame? They are so colorful. Yes. Well, I think it would be wise to refrain from colorful language in this classroom, Miss Shirley. Yes, sir. Shall we turn to world geography? Oh, yes, let's do! <sighs> <laughs> Who can tell me the longest river in the world? Mr. Block. <laughs> the Nile. It's 4,296 miles long. And Thank you, Miss Shirley. <laughs> Mr. Black, can you tell us the longest river on this continent. The Mississippi, sir. Very good. Mr. Phillips, how long is the Mississippi? Uh, the Mississippi? Well, that may be one that I have to look up, Miss Bell. 3,245 miles long, sir. Thank you, Miss Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we turn to geometry? If you 
would be so kind as to read this sentence aloud to the class. Anne Shirley must learn to control her temper. <laughs> now, everyone, we will copy it down on our slates 100 times. Aww. Not you, Miss Shirley. You will copy it 200. saying that you're one of the smartest scholars in the school and was making rapid progress. 